In this video, I will explain how to maintain default profile using profile maintenance. So profile maintenance can be executed using RZ10T code. So this is the initial screen of edit profiles. From here, you can choose default.pfl file that is default profile double click on default profile and once you get it the version of this particular default profile is 000004 and default profile it is saved and activated and under edit profiles box you have three options to choose that is administrator data basic maintenance extended maintenance so let us see each and every option here selected administrator data you can see two types of buttons here one is for display one is for change if you want to look at what is the settings what are all the parameters are setting set set in this particular profile you can click on the display button and then we will see what we can change now just click on display so this is the administrative data of default profile that is profile name is default and the version of the profile is 4 short description of the profile is automatically generated import profile that is this this particular profile is created while installation of SAP system and administrative data the name of the profile is this that is located inside SQL and USR SAP DAO sys profile default.pfl reference server for profile parameters check so this is the server nw7ehp1 underscore DAO underscore 00 and it is Windows NT server and the profile type is default profile it is by default it is chosen and the modification or activation data who has modified this particular profile SAP user the user account name is displayed here and he has modified on so and so date that is 9 12 2013 at 5 43 time and it is activated by same user that is SAP user on this date at this time so this is about displaying the administrative data of default profile in the same way if you want to change some settings of this particular profile just go back and click on change button now it will give you the option to change it you can change the short description you can change the profile type and you can change the server name here if you have another server you can choose that server right now we have only one server that is default it is there you can leave it as it is and go back now let us choose basic maintenance from basic maintenance what are the changes we can do and what we can display just click on display button and again some limited information it is showing that is default client is 001 database host name the database host name is nw7hp1 message server is this message server service is sap ms dev and go back click on the change button okay from here you can change the database host but suppose the database is different from this name you can change it and you can also change the default client but suppose here we have 001 you can change it to 000 that is default client means whenever you double click on this entry whatever the client comes here that is called default here it is 001 is the default because the default profile has that parameter setting that's why you are getting the default 001 client okay now go back and let us choose extended maintenance in the extended maintenance again you can either click on display or change 
just let us click on the display button to see what are all the parameters available to change so you can display the parameter that's all you you don't have the permission to change anything also you have a change button from here like if you click on here it will become change that means you can change directly from here without going back so the same functionality we can execute from here by clicking on the change button so if you click on the change button it will give you the option to change it like uh, earlier we have seen now that is login slash system client this can be changed and uh, login slash no automatic user sap star is there that is zero value is there we can change it to one so that sap star user cannot be used to log on to the newly created client and let us see the experiment by changing this particular parameter just double click on this parameter to change back to one actually originally it was one when the system is freshly created that is parameter created uh, that is one it is changed by sap user this date so i am changing it back to one again so once i change it to one just i have to click on the copy button and then go back and copy and go back click on the save button the data default profile version will be changed to 5 earlier it was 4 now it will become 5 click on s to activate the profile so profile 5 is saved and activated just click on continue just click on continue okay now you have to restart the instance to make the changes to effect just right click here you have to restart it so we have to wait until it turns to gray color and then comes back to green color so during the the process you can click on the refresh button to see the status of the work processes so all are getting down so it's completely stopped process is also stopped now again it is starting you see and uh, Yes, above WP table also should give the information. Yes, the status of the work processes are displaying. That is, the status is coming to wait and start is coming to S. Yes, everything is started. Now, within few minutes, few seconds, the color changes to green color. So, there is no need to wait until the green color. Once it is, the status comes to wait, you can log on to the system. Anyway, it became green color. Now you can log on to the system by double clicking on dev. Okay, now let us log on to the system. And uh, I'll try to create a new client one firstly. And client administration, you will see how to create uh, clients. So don't worry, don't worry about this client creation just i am quickly creating the client just to show the effect with the parameter change okay i have created new client now system log off if i try to log on to this system using that Create a new client zero zero three SAP star and pass. So it's not allowing me to log in. Now if I want to log into the system using uh, SAP star and pass, just I have to go back okay. Let us change the parameter which we have changed earlier just using the same t code rz10 t code and select the profile name using this button default dot profile 
and the version of this profile is 005 now click on extended maintenance or basic uh, sorry extended maintenance click on the change button now the login slash no automatic user sap star double click on it make it zero just click on copy go back click on copy go back click on save and uh, click no click yes click ok click continue system log off click yes and you have to restart the instance once again once the restart is uh, over we can log on to the system using 003 client Okay, it is stopped completely. Now again waiting for the starting. So it is starting. Almost already started. We can try to log on. Yes, it is starting. Now enter double zero three SAP star and pass. So now you are able to log in. That means the parameter which we have changed that is working fine. So in this way you can use default.pfl to change or create new parameters so in the SAP system and whatever the changes we have made that will be recorded at operating system level also for suppose if you open this SAP and dev sys profile default.pfl file if you open it in notepad you can see the change whatever, whatever we have done just now it will be recorded you see um, the login slash where is the parameter you see login slash no automatic user sap star it changed by old value 0 it is changed by this user and this date and this time and again change it to 1 changed by this user this date this time and now the present value is 0 the parameter name is login slash no underscore automatic underscore user underscore SAP star this particular parameter is useful while doing client administration topics okay I hope you understood thanks for watching